All right, another lesson that I learned is that keeping junk food in your house, regardless of quarantine or not, is a stupid idea unless you want to eat all of it and you want to be tempted by it 24 seven and you want to exhaust your willpower trying to resist eating the entire bag of chips that you have in your house. So towards the end of quarantine, uh, the last couple of weeks, one of the things that I did is I just stopped buying the junk food. I stopped buying the pleasurable food that was fun because of quarantine. Uh, because it really wasn't worth it. Uh, some people have more self-control than that. Some people can have sort of these more pleasurable high calorie foods that are very easy to overeat in their house and not be tempted by them. I am not one of those people. If it's in my house and I know it's in my house, I'm gonna be thinking about it until I eat it. Uh, and because I was pretty much spending my entire time in my house, save a couple of you know hours a week going to the grocery store or driving to go get you know takeout food, uh, I pretty much spent all my time in my house and then there was a lot of downtime even though I tried to stay busy. And as a result, there was some snacking that was, you know, sort of subconscious in some ways. I mean, it was it was conscious, let's be honest, but it was sort of like a subconscious whispering that, you know, hey, go, you know, you got tortilla chips and guacamole and you say those two words and my ass is eating that entire thing. So keeping junk food out of the house has been a really positive, uh, I wouldn't say rule because rule makes it sound like it's a strict kind of drawn in the sand sort of thing, but uh, something that I like to do to help manage my, you know, uh, my overeating of foods that are really not that nutritious.